Good morning and welcome back to the kitchen. I'm ready for the fall, ready for the holidays, and I'm going to make a little finger food today that some people will say, oh, that's good, and others are going to say, I don't want any of that. It's Reuben pinwheels. I personally love a Reuben sandwich, and so this is made similar to how we make our Reuben sandwiches, but it's going to be tortilla, um, flour tortillas, and I'm going to make it, roll it up and make it into the, the finger foods. So the first thing I have to do, I have uh, drained my sauerkraut and I have a half a cup of sauerkraut and I'm going to need a half a cup of Thousand Island dressing. I'm going to soften my cream cheese in the microwave and then I'll bring you back and show you what we do to uh, mix it all up. But let me get this in the microwave. I'm just going to warm it for about a minute and see if that's enough. I'll get my Thousand Island done and I'll bring the camera down where y'all be down here close with me. See what's going on in this world. Okay, there's a half a cup of that. So I have both of those done. I have my tortillas and my Swiss cheese and my corned beef ready. Let me check my got my cream cheese soft and I'm gonna add in my thousand island dressing and blend that really well. Maybe I'll just do that like that. So it's eight ounces of cream cheese, one half cup of Thousand Island, then you're going to add in your half cup of sauerkraut. And you want it drained. Squeeze it out. Get all the liquid out that you can. Okay, now I'm ready to spread it onto my tortilla. Making a mess here, aren't I? Okay, I've got corned beef that I got at the deli, and I like the Boar's Head brand. Uh, it's up to you. And then I've got Swiss cheese. I bought baby Swiss. Got it ready. And I got some good flour tortillas here. Get me two or three toothpicks just in case I need it to hold it. So I'm just going to spread some of this on my tortilla. You know, I might like a little bit more. Hmm. Some of the leaves to their cabbage got a little dark. I'm going to put just a little extra on mine. Because I can, and I like sauerkraut. Okay, then you're just going to put some corned beef. And I had them do it real thin for me. And some Swiss cheese. Now you're just going to roll it up. And I will clean that up. I want that down inside. 
I'm going to go ahead and put a toothpick in it to hold it till I slice it. Let them get their shape before I eat some of these myself. I'm going to uh, brown it a little bit because I like mine toasted. Okay. Put me some more corned beef on here. And some more of the Swiss cheese. It actually said to use grated Swiss cheese, and that it might would roll better had I done that. But I'm just going to do it this way. I think I had the first one a little bit too full of goody. What do y'all think? I'm going to put a little bit from glue in here, if it'll work, we'll see. And then I will trim that and make it look pretty here in a minute after it sets a while. Now the easiest thing to do is put your toothpicks and slice between the toothpicks. And that helps you to keep it together. And that way if you wanted to brown it a little bit, you could just let your toothpick hold it together for you while you brown it. Okay, I'm going to... I've got one more to slice and I'll get them on the plate and show you. Okay, y'all, here they are all rolled up and sliced. And they're very, very good if you like corned beef and sauerkraut. If you like a Reuben sandwich, they're wonderful. A good little hors d'oeuvre for the holidays. Now y'all have an unusual and a different little um, hors d'oeuvre to make for your holiday platters. Uh, for what? On Thanksgiving Day if you want some little finger food. Or Christmas Eve. Or New Year's Eve. A different little hors d'oeuvre. And if somebody likes a Reuben sandwich, they're absolutely going to love this. I hope y'all will try it. Even if you don't like it, some of your guests might like it. Now I had uh, some of the cream cheese mixture left over, so I put the rest of the can of sauerkraut in there, and I'm going to stir some coleslaw mix in, and I'm just going to have a coleslaw with the sauerkraut in it and the cream cheese and Thousand Island dressing. So this was your flour tortilla, corned beef sliced very thin, and Swiss cheese either grated or sliced very thin, I mean shaved almost, a half cup of Thousand Island dressing, and a half cup of sauerkraut. And you mix the Thousand Island with your eight ounces of cream cheese, then you add the sauerkraut, you spread that onto your tortilla and layer on your cheese, and your corned beef and roll it up real tight and let it rest a while and then slice it into the little finger food. Now, y'all can make any day a party. It doesn't have to be a named holiday that's, you know, school's out and people are off work. You can make every day a party at your house. Pick something good, something special, and find something to say you're celebrating and your kids will just love it to death. Today we're going to celebrate Mary making a hundred on her math test and I made something special. That child will never forget that. So make your meal time a holiday. Make it special every day for your family. Thank y'all for coming by the kitchen and I will be back here on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays with something new and different. I'm going to try to do some little finger food from Nano Christmas, some of the stuff that I make. Uh, some cookies and some candies are coming up and maybe another uh, casserole or two, but right now probably more geared toward holiday food. Y'all have a blessed day. Don't forget to thank the good Lord for all of his blessings and come back here and visit with me again and I'll see you real soon.